a dash is transpose of a matrix that is rows into column or column into rows. We have a differences. You can directly do this 400 into 412 minus 408 into 404. You will get the value. So solving or finding the values of X and Y using Kramer's rule is an important question. You may find at least one question of this kind in your exam. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti ma'am, lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So here in this session, we are going to start off with the revision of your entire 21 chapters. And in this session, I'm going to take up your first chapter, matrices and determinants. So here, we are going to see the distribution of marks in the chapter given. And then we will solve few problems related to the type of questions. Let's see now. So here in this session, we are going to discuss one mark and two mark questions from the chapter matrices and determinants. And the distribution of marks from this chapter is you have five sections in your question paper that is part A, B, C, D and E. So part A is one mark. So you have one one mark question and one two mark question, two three mark question and one six mark question from the chapter matrices and determinants. So this is the chapter with highest marks. Hence it's, this chapter is very important. So let's see the type of questions now. So I have taken few one mark questions to solve. Later we will solve two mark, three marks and then six marks. So here if A is equal to the matrix A is equal to 1 minus 3, 5 and 6, 2, 4, find 5 A dash. So here we need to find the scalar value 5 multiplied with matrix A and then we need to find out the transpose of 5 into A dash. So let's find out A dash first. So what is A dash? A dash is transpose of a matrix that is rows into column or column into rows. So 1, 6, minus 3, 2, 5, 4. So this is your A dash. Now let's see 5 A dash. So what is 5 A dash? You are multiplying 5 to every value inside the matrix. That is 5, 30, minus 15, 10, 25, and 20. So this is 5 a dash. Next, find x such that 3, x, 4, 7 is symmetric. We know that symmetric matrix means, so we know that symmetric matrix means its transpose is equal to the given matrix. That is A is equal to A transpose. So when you transpose a matrix, you will get the same matrix as A. So that's why, so 3, x, 4, 7, if you transpose it, it will be in the form of 3, 4, x, 7. So both should be equal because A dash should be equal to, or we can take A is equal to A dash. Since the matrices are equal, we can directly write the value of S. X is equal to 4. So this is the value of the given value for X. Next, find X if determinant of 4, x, x4 equals 0. So we know how to write the determinant of 2 cross 2 matrix that is 4 4s are 16 minus x into x, x square is equal to 0 or we can write x square is equal to 16, x is equal to plus or minus 4. So this is the value. Next, evaluate 400, 404, 408 and 412. So we need to find out the determinant value of this. So here we have a differences. You can directly do this 400 into 412 minus 408 into 404. You will get the value or else you can do like you can take column 1 as column 2 minus column 1. So by doing the elementary row or column operations also, we can evaluate the value of determinants. So therefore, when you take column 1 as column 2 minus column 1, we will get the new determinant as 4, 4 not 4, 4, 412. So which is equal to 0. So this is equal to 4 into 412 minus 
4 into 404. So when you multiply and evaluate this, you will get the answer as 32. So this is the value of the given determinant. Next, if a is equal to 1, minus 2, 3, 4, then find 3a. So just multiply 3 to the given matrix. So I will get 3a as 3, minus 6, 9, 12. So this is the new matrix obtained. So next question, we'll take on two more question that is solve using Kramer's rule 3x plus 4y is equal to 7, 7x minus y is equal to 6. So when you're solving using Kramer's rule, so we need to write the coefficients of x and y in terms of a determinant that is delta is equal to 3, 4, 7 and minus 1. Now find the value here. So we have 3 minus 1 as 3, minus 7 fours are 28. So the value is minus 31. Next we need to replace the coefficients of x with the constants. That is we will take it as new determinant as delta x. So 7 and 6 are the constants. So write coefficients of y as it is. So here you will get minus 7 minus 24 which is equal to minus 31. Next we will replace the coefficient of y with respect to constant and we will take it as delta y. So the determinant becomes 3, 7, 7 and 6. So we get 3, 6 are 18 minus 7, 7 is 49 which will be again minus 31. Now to find the value of x, we will take delta x by delta and to find the value of y, we take delta y by delta. So that is here you can have minus 31 by minus 31. So therefore value of x is equal to 1. And here also you have minus 31 by minus 31. So therefore value of y is also equal to 1. So solving or finding the values of x and y using Kramer's rule is an important question. You may find at least one question of this kind in your exam. Next, if the matrix 2, minus 1, 3, 1 and x, y is equal to 10, 2, find x and y. So here we need matrix multiplication. So let us multiply the first row elements with the first column elements. This is a column matrix, so we have only one column. So now here we have 2 into x as 2x minus 1 into y minus y. Next we will multiply the second row with this column 3 into x is 3x, 1 into y becomes y. So this is a new matrix now. It has to be a column matrix. Next here we have 10 2. Now from the equality of matrices, we can write the corresponding elements are equal. That is 2x minus y is equal to 10 and 3x plus y is equal to 2. Now adding both the equation, 2x plus 3x is 5x plus y minus y cancels, we will get 12. So therefore x is equal to 12 by 5. Next. Substitute in any one of the equation, we can take 2 into 12 by 5 minus y is equal to 10. So here we have 24 by 5. I shift 10 here, then it becomes minus 10. Then we can write y is equal to 24 by 5 minus 10, which is 24 minus 50 divided by 5. So therefore y is equal to minus 26 by 5. So this is the value of x and y. Next, if 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus 1, minus 2 and 5 and a minus 2b is equal to 4, 2, minus 1, 5, then find a and b. So now here the given matrix is given in the form of 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 5 and the next matrix is given as a minus 2b is equal to 
4, 2, minus 1, 5. Now here, to make the equation same, I'll multiply 2 to the second matrix here. So therefore, what happens? It will become 2a minus 4b is equal to multiply 2 to the right hand side also 8 4 minus 2 10. Now from this equation here if I take this as equation 1 so from this equation we can write 2a as the matrix minus b. So therefore I can write this as 3 minus 1 minus 2 5 minus b minus 4b here we have it is 8 4 minus 2 10. So next here it becomes minus 5b. So minus 5b means we need to shift this complete matrix to the right hand side. So the corresponding elements are subtracted. So 8 minus 3 becomes 5. 5 minus of minus 1 becomes 5 again. Minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. 10 minus 5 becomes 5. And when you divide by minus 5 to remove the scalar on the left hand side, we will divide this by minus 5. Then the matrix is minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1. Now we have the value of matrix B as minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1 here. So again consider the equation 1 here. So substitute the matrix B as minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1. Then we have 2a plus minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1. So that is equal to, so we have 3 minus 1, minus 2, 5. 3 minus 1, minus 2, 5. So here we get 2a is equal to, we need to shift it and the value must be subtracted. 3 minus of minus 1 is 4. Minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. Minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2. 5 minus of minus 1 becomes 6. Now completely dividing by the scalar 2 here, we'll get the matrix A as 2, 0, minus 1, 3. So this is matrix A and this is your matrix B. Next question, if A is equal to 3, 2, 4, 1, prove that a square minus 4a minus 5i is equal to 0. So where i is the unit matrix and o is the null matrix here. So since we have taken two cross two matrix here, your i should be a unit matrix of order two cross two. So first let us find out a square. So we have a is equal to 3, 2, 4, 1. So a square means multiplying the same matrix 3, 2, 4, 1. 1. Now here multiply row to the column. So we have a square is equal to 3 3 is a 9 plus 2 4 is a 8. Next 3 2 is a 6 plus 2 1 is a 2. Next we have 4 3 is a 12 plus 4 1 is a 4. 4 2 is a 8 plus 1 1 is a 1. So that is row into first column, row into second column, next second row into first column, second row into second column. So therefore here we will get a square is equal to 9 plus 8 as 17, 6 plus 2, 8, 12 plus 4, 16, 8 plus 1, 9. Now we have a square. So let us consider the equation a square minus 4a minus 5i. So a square is 17, 8, 16 and 9. We have 4a here. That means you need to multiply 4 to the given matrix. So it becomes 12, 4 3s are 12, 4 2s are 8, 4 4s are 16, 4 1s are 4. Minus 5 times the identity matrix. So obviously identity matrix will be in the form of 1, 0, 0, 1. So when you multiply 5, you will get 5, 0, 0, 5. So the resultant matrix will be 17 minus 12 minus 5, 8 minus 8 minus 0, 16 minus 16 minus 0, 9 minus 4 minus 5. So clearly you have 17 minus 17 
8 minus 8, 16 minus 16, 9 minus 9. So, which will give you the null matrix or a zero matrix that is O. Hence, prove. So, these are very few simple questions you may expect from one marks and two mark question from this chapter. So, we'll meet you in the next session with three marks and five marks question. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.